Hello guys and girls, what's going on? The SRO7 MM here, you're watching Jurassic Park the game. Walk through for PC. Enjoy! We don't even know if he's alive! Oscar's fine, he's coming back, and come hell or high water, we are not leaving! Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time, hide! Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The Lysine Contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs Lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. All right. Supposing there's a dinosaur that can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water, through ocean currents, sharks... Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever? 20 days ago, would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I fear that hard to imagine? No, I suppose not. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. I don't think there's any point in discussing this further. Let's just agree to disagree, shall we? Fine, but I'm gonna have to tell InGen when this is all over. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall, looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Good. Here it 
here comes. Go! <laughs> Do these things ever stop eating? About as coordinated as a three-legged mule. I'm coordinated enough to kick you off. Whoa, whoa, easy. I take it back. Damn, you're lucky. You ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Yeah, yeah, relax. I, uh, I, um... You lost it. You lost it? It must have fallen out. Right, go. Now there's the place to hide. Locked, good. If I can't open it, they can't either. Here they come. Idioto! Do you know what you've done? Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it! Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. Okay. So we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. 
The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic. Just go! And hurry! Oops. Darling, well, what brings a nice girl like you to a place like this? Got it! Open the door, open the door! <laughs> I got it! Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him! Okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey, thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. Probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay. We can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. the hold up it's nothing it's just a different uh, model than I'm used to is all so you're stuck why don't you just read the instructions they're right there no relax this thing is just a glorified fuse box what about that thing there maybe you have to prime it before turning it on like an oil pump or something <laughs> Look, no offense, but this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. All right, I got it now. Close your eyes. You're about to lose your... Night vision. Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? 
I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? Yeah, I'll close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So, here's a little something. He's ready to set sail. This show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We? Had to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. You going along with her? Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. What do you mean, ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you, but I don't trust her. I don't know, Billy. Injian throws a lot of work our way. Not sure I want to burn that bridge. I understand, but we're talking about a retirement level payout here. Look, you don't have to decide now. Plenty of time before we call for another chopper. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. <laughs> 